Okay, so here is my main problem in regards to how psychiatric medications are prescribed today. If you were to walk in today to a mental health psych hospital or even to an outpatient setting, you might see a psychiatrist or a nurse practitioner for 10 minutes. They might review your chart, which they should. And then from there, a lot of times, if you're going in for depression or whatnot, the first medication they'll prescribe is an SSRI. And typically, that's just how they're going to do it. If you have depression, they're going to give you an SSRI. If they're going to, you're having general anxiety disorder or anxiety, they're going to give you an SSRI, meaning Zoloft. They might give you Prozac, Paxil, all SSRIs. And remember, these take a good minimum two weeks to start seeing effects. So if you're in a crisis as it states right now, you're going to continue to be in that crisis for a couple weeks, unfortunately. Unless you find a doctor who might give you a medication that could potentially work, like a low dose of a benzo or whatnot, but more than likely not. So you're trapped in that way. If you go in and after the two weeks, you're reporting that it's not working, they might try another SSRI or they might go to an SNRI, such as Cymbalta or even Welbutrin, which is a mix of an SSRI and an SNRI. They might do something like that, which once again, results might have results, but more than likely you're gonna have a lot of side effects, unfortunately. Also, did I mention that a lot of times with SSRIs, there are things such as sexual dysfunction, um, men getting hard can be a serious issue, women, um, having sexual dysfunction as well, very common. If you like to exercise, a lot of times your energy is going to be severely reduced. You're going to feel a little bit like a zombie as well. So you don't really know what's working, why now you're not feeling really any emotions for that point in time. That might be a problem. Um, and then finally, as I said, after those two weeks or you've tried another SSRI, they might try something else. And then from there, what they might do is say, that's all I can give you. Yeah, I know, right? And you wonder why there's a huge issue today with, you know, depression being higher than it's ever been. Yet there are all these medications that work. And I'm not hating on the system, I'm just saying the way people treat mental health, it's almost like it's your problem, you shouldn't be this way. When in reality, you can't help the, the anxiety or depression or whatever it is. There's a stigmatization that goes with it. And this even goes in the inpatient psychiatric setting if you go in and don't, admit, don't, don't, and don't even mention if you have as well, if you have an underlying history of, let's say, addictions, or you have a history of using or drinking alcohol, you know, using drugs. And, you know, a lot of the reasons why you even started doing that was because of the underlying mental health condition. But a lot of times doctors won't hear you out on that. A lot of times people who've had problems such as, you know, things such as even like methamphetamine use disorder and whatnot, there's still no treatments today for that. And then a lot of times they're using it they originally started using it because they had something like severe ADD or ADHD and they're trying to get the treatment they need because they they're off they're off the methamphetamine for example and they're trying SSRIs they're trying SNRIs they're trying general anxiety disorder medications such as Boost Bar Visteril which aren't having any effect when in reality what they might need is something that works a little bit better like a ADD or ADHD medication even, a low dose of something, but that a lot of times won't, ha that won't happen for you, unfortunately. So today, just, just keep in mind when you go in and if you're not getting the results you're wanting, that you're not alone. I'm just going to be honest. Look, I've been a psychiatric RN for years now, okay? And it's sometimes hard to see how patients are treated. I mean, I'm just, I'm just an RN. I can educate patients 
and whatnot, but I obviously can't prescribe medications or anything like that. But it's like you see all these patients coming in, wanting help, wanting the help they need, and it's and it's almost like a lot of times they're on 10 to 15 different medications, psychiatric medications. And over three-fourths of them aren't working. They come in, they're trying to get the help. And a lot of times all that's done is they might tweak one of the medications. They might also take them off of multiple at once, which is not advisable a lot of times. And they're in that same dilemma again where they're having side effects and side effects and side effects from these new meds or their existing meds they're taking. And it's a vicious cycle. And I think one way to get to the bottom of this is starting now with new patients when they come in and listening to them a little bit more. From just a family nurse practitioner to a from a family doctor, even to psychiatrists. Psychiatrists do this too. You, listening to them, thoroughly looking at their history, and maybe instead of today just going with your generic SSRI or SNRI, really take into consideration what the patient is saying. And I know sometimes, obviously, you've got to, we gotta go with best practice, obviously. And we have to go off evidence-based practice. But it just seems like the system today, it's, it's doing more harm than actually good. Don't get me wrong, there's therapies, there is ECT, uh, electronic cons uh, convulsive therapy, where you can really help with things such as depression, um, you know, things like that. I mean, they work, Thera therapy works, but when it comes to medications today, it's just, there's all these different medications they have, but it's like, what results are we really getting? Yeah, that, don't get me wrong. Medications work for, help people, but it's almost as if today when people come in where the, where the dilemma and where the problem starts is off of the first medication they're prescribed. Meaning if somebody's coming in with severe anxiety and they're, in the, on, and they're on the inpatient side. They're being prescribed something such as an SSRI, which takes, once again, two weeks to kick in, remember. And they leave there, the average day, like seven days. You don't even know what the actual effect is. And a lot of times the patients are wanting to leave at that point because they're having more anxiety being around other patients and whatnot. And then they leave and they're in a bigger problem than when they actually came in. So my whole point to this video is when somebody, when somebody comes in and you, and you see them, this is from a provider side, a nurse side, or even on the other side, a family member side, just remember, don't judge that person who takes medication. A lot of times they were some, they're just somebody wanting to come in and they're trying medications because they want to get better, but they're just not having results from it. They're listening to what the doctors are saying, but there just aren't results, and they're tr and that's why they're in there in there for the first place. So yeah, random video. I know it was kind of like a little, it was like a downer video a little bit, but just wanted to talk a little bit about that, about mental health today, and how the problem unfortunately is going to be getting a lot worse. Love you all.